Yo everyone, we are back with the Yakuza 8. Last time we did a crap tons of drink links. And we did a bit of walking around town and clearing up some other stuff. I can't look at the map right now. Anyways, we're here to start off a life link and then we'll get back into the plot mm. afterwards. This is about as good as the plot though, so you oh, know good to see you, you could consider it all plot. Set? I'd like to take you somewhere. Why is this room I tilted? You're ready to go. No, seriously, why is it tilted? I only just realized this. Do I just not have my head on right? Maybe I don't. Hmm. I'm prepared. Maybe I just have my head tilted. I don't know. All right. Our guest this time came all the way from Kyushu. Chief Nakajima of Nagasuke. Yo! Chief Nakajima. Nakajima? He looked after you during your stint as a cab driver back in Fukuoka. Yo, we're going all over the games for these. Holy shit. Ten years? Not even in the joint. Oh my god. Hey, what's up? It's been so long. You're remembering, right? Don't tell me I wasted my time calling him here. Oh my god. You didn't. Besides, I wouldn't be that ungrateful. It's just... I never thought I'd see him again. Of all Chief people. Chief Nakajima was about the only civilian I spent a lot of time with. Yeah. You tried running from your past back then too, didn't you? Even went by the alias Tai Chi Suzuki and everything. Yeah. Trying to always find you somehow. In the past and even now. So are you actually allowed to talk you to him? You unlike him the Chief others? Here? How was he? He must be getting along in years now. Did he seem well? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you go see for yourself? What? Did something bad happen to him? Hmm. Oh, boy. What's happening to Nakajima? He was able to make it down here, at least. Don't tell me he has memory loss or oh, something. Oh, good heavens, I can't drink that much. <laughs> well, ain't this a pickle? That's about the voice I expected for him. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Chief, don't be shy. Today's a special treat, isn't it? Well, you ain't wrong there. <laughs> Speaking of which, Date-san's not here yet. W I wonder what's taking him. I definitely expected Today's them to use this VA right, for him, actually. Not gonna rip me off. Don't worry! Date-san gave me a rundown. That man's a real detective, you know. Date-san, what was with that ominous look earlier? <laughs> well, as you can see, he's doing great. Figured it'd make you appreciate the reunion You fucking more. troll. <laughs> Cab company's not exactly doing well. But the chief does everything he can to keep it going. Bless. That's great. Glad to hear it. <laughs> Thought so. Wait. Date-san, you've never met Chief Nakajima before, right? How did you even get him to come all the way here? Yeah. Well, I might have abused a bit of my police authority. Told him that I wanted to ask him about his former employee, Taichi Suzuki. What? Also told him it was a personal investigation and that we couldn't talk over the phone since the higher-ups don't know about it. Huh. I asked if he could come to Yokohama instead. You do know how suspicious that sounds, right? I'm surprised the chief fell for that. I offered to cover his travel expenses, so it's basically a paid vacation. His drinks at this club are even on me. Huh. Oh, don't give me that look, man. <laughs> what? I was just worried about you. You're always coming up with all these lies for me. That is true. I thought I told you this before. I'm only doing all this because I want to. Don't sweat it. Ten years ago, Ten he told me himself to come back and work for him again, no matter what. He gave me a hand when I hit rock bottom, and I was never able to thank him for that. Man. Got it. Guess it'll be on me to tell him all of that. <laughs> I know Kiryu's supposed to be dead, sure but what about Taichi right? Suzuki, man? Hey. Maybe I ought to move to Yokohama myself. I just thought it would be nice. Oh, you really? Then you could come visit me every day. I'll be here waiting. Like, I feel like this one actually would have a decent excuse for them to talk to each other instead of hiding behind a, a veil. Oh. Pleasure meeting you, Chief Nakajima. I'm Date. You been enjoying yourself? He's just sitting there with his oh, back gosh, turned to... darn it, I'm sorry. Got a little carried away there. Nearly forgot I was Look at him bowing. You, He's Mr. so nice. Detective. I love Nakajima. He was such a cool character. Thanks Still is, of course, here. since I'm seeing him in front of my Mind face, but, you know. Seat? Oh, no, not at all. Please do. Please do. Still, 
To think Suzuki-san's name would come up again. Well, like I told you on the phone, the last I saw Suzuki-san was ten years ago. How's that even gonna help the police? Well, truth be told, I knew Suzuki personally outside my work as a detective. Honestly, I just wanted to have a drink with someone else who knew him. Sorry for making a fuss out of this, Chief. Oh, no, no, it's fine. You even paid for me to travel here and all. Besides, I feel the same way about Suzuki-san. Hell yeah. Wasn't one for words, but I could never forget him. Just that kind of fella, you know. So what happened? Did Suzuki-san cause some kind of incident? He ain't getting arrested, is he? Huh? No, I'm not going to arrest him. Oh, See, man. Suzuki's been dead for a few years now. Huh? Come again? You ain't pulling my leg or nothing. You didn't know? No, not at all. I had no clue. So that's what happened to Suzuki. I'm really son. sad we had to lie about this, man. I can't believe my ears. He was always so serious. A real dedicated fella. Hey, something doesn't seem to be adding up here. Just double checking. You were aware that Taichi Suzuki was a fake name, right? A fake name? Nah, ain't no way. That doesn't sound right. No sorry. Uh-huh. I was using a fake name that was Yakuza from the Tojo clan. You forget about all that, Chief? Okay, then. Why don't you settle down and hear me out? Taichi Suzuki was a fake name. His real name was Kazuma Kiryu. A Yakuza from the Tojo clan, known as the Dragon of Dojima. Never mind, I guess you did know that. You're talking about the that. same Suzuki-san? Ah, that's gotta be a lie. Something Maybe he's covering for him. You ever consider that the Suzuki-san I know and the Suzuki-san you know are two different people? I think he's actually do then. pulling some so cover. So that's how you want to play. Then explain this. Take a good look at this photo. This guy looks real familiar. Is that fucking Yakuza one? Perhaps you've seen this no. on TV okay, never mind. before. That's You're Yakuza five. Kazuma Kiryu. I think. Shortly after this footage aired, he was sent to prison, then lost his life in Hiroshima. Frankly, that don't sound like the Suzuki son I know. What really? I'm playing dumb by pretend. Yeah, that's what I mean. The fact that he's got his own company to run. Guess I should have looked into your story more carefully before coming all the way out here. If I had known we were talking about two different people, I wouldn't have let you pay for my whole trip. Now hold on, sir. What's with the act? Huh? We both know for a fact that Kiryu went by Suzuki in Kyushu. So why are you pretending you don't know him? Well, I ain't pretending. There was just a little mix-up. He tries Sorry, to, to leave mistake. at I'll first even pay part. I'll my own drinks, too. Take care now. No, wait. Please. I think we're done here. Size, I ought to get going. Let go. Okay, now walk in what front of him. into you? Nothing. You're just being a bother. Wait, please. Hey, stop right there, sir. Ooh, what's going on? Why all the yelling? Go, Date son. Damn it, how can Judging I let by him the know? way you wanted to run from me, I think I get what's going on. Huh? What about? You probably did come here to talk about Tai Chi Suzuki and maybe squeeze in some sightseeing on the side. But with how you're acting, I'm guessing you saw this recently. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, that's, uh. Your plans changed the Tatara. when this started going around. Yeah. Suddenly, rumors that Kazuma Kiryu is still alive and kicking spread all over the internet, despite his supposed death. Word got to you too, didn't it? Right after you agreed to meet with me here. I don't know a thing about that. What's going on? Look to your if left, Kazuma Nakajima. If Kazuma Kiryu really is alive, you would see his hiding, hair. Then you wouldn't want to tip off the police. Even a minor detail about his past runs the risk of endangering him. Long story short, you don't want to sell your friend out to the police. But after coming all the way to Yokohama, it looked just as suspicious to cancel our meeting. Uh... It all makes sense now. 
That's why you're trying to act like you don't know Kazuma Kiryu. The hostesses you are just sitting here idea. listening That's all this. completely off. Where you're coming from, you probably aren't too sure if I really am Kiryu's friend. In that case, it'd be best for you to say I've got the wrong guy. Keep mum and leave your seat. Damn. Uh, um, Professional <laughs> detective for no Chief for Nakajima, good reason. This has all been one huge misunderstanding. Huh? Neither Tokyo PD nor the Fukuoka police knew that Kiryu had been employed at Nagasu Taxi. Have you ever gotten a call from the police asking after him? I'm positive you haven't. Because I'm the only one who knows about your connection to Kiryu. <laughs> after all, I heard all of this from the man himself. Who's sitting In right fact, over there? He even told me Sorry. about the first time you two met. He helped out a woman who was being harassed, but let himself get beat up in the process. At the time, he had nowhere to go since he had to cover up his history with the Akaza. He nearly gave up on life. That's when you entered the picture. You took him on and hired him as a taxi driver. That guy's known as the legendary Yakuza. You think he'd crack in the interrogation room? I heard all of this straight from the horse's mouth. I may not know what's going on in his head. No one does. But I consider him Besides the my players. best friend. Aww. Date-san. That's so well, awesome. Well, that sure explains a whole lot. Guess it can't hurt to trust you then. <laughs> How about we turn back the clock? Start fresh. Take it from the top. <laughs> Works for me. Let's go. Manage to assess the situation and put himself in a ba da ba da Better for me just not to speak about it. son was actually Kazuma Kiryu from the news. Saw him in that Yakuza scuffle up in Kamarocho. Must have been a little while after he left our place. All his old co-workers were pretty shaken up. Me included. Uh -huh. Sure, I knew he was no run-of-the-mill guy. But I never thought he'd be THE legendary Yakuza. Also, just between us, a lot of my employees are hiding scars because of something or other in the past. Same Nothing goes as for large as him, though. So I was never, ever going to rat out Kiryu-san to the police. I fucking... I want to hug but this man. I He's so cool. the moment I that, news got out about Kazuma Kiryu dying somewhere in Hiroshima. That must have been shocking. Of course it was. But now... What the heck even was that video? I can't make heads or tails of nothing no more. <laughs> you know for something, real. don't you, Date-san? Is Kazuma Kiryu... Is Suzuki-san still alive? I mean, he's not a lie about it. I'm sorry, but... Well, I guess but... it wouldn't be right if I just lied to your face after unraveling all that, so... I'm just gonna say... No comment. Good. No comment? I approve... I approve of that That's compared to the other. For you. <laughs> That's great. Real great. Just right <laughs> here. See? You know, you're a lot like Suzuki-san. No tech? No skill at lying, and a good man. I prefer that. Is coming from you. No comments. Just as bad I love that. <laughs> Basically, you just soft confirming that he's alive. After I love it. To know you, Chief. I want to hug both I of them. I think I get why he wanted me to pass on a message. Huh? When the two of you first met, he had just drifted all the way to Kyushu. In I can to handle that compared to ones. just lying to these and saying that he's dead. That was the lowest point in Kiryu's life. In a place with no one he knew, with no one to turn to. True. With no one to talk to or depend on, until you showed up and lent him the hand he needed. Mm-hmm. Words can't describe how indebted he feels to you. Still does, to this day. Ha. That's to this so. day. And I got something to say to him, too. And what's that? The last time I saw Suzuki-san, I left here him with these words. You're part of the family now, Suzuki-san. Just be sure to come back to us, no matter what. Hmm. I still stand by those words today. So if you ever find yourself in trouble, you'll always have a home with us. Aww. I'll be waiting for you back in Kyushu. Look at so him. just remember, you're never alone. Like a sad little Think puppy. Think you could tell him all that for me, Date-san? Ah. <laughs> And then he just says nothing because of the no comment. Oh, I love it. 
See, now that's what I like to see. Like, I can handle them not meeting in person, but they have to do something like that where he doesn't just flat out try to say that, they're, Date that he's dead or anything. Got to wrap up some unfinished business there. Most of them the have at least have an inkling, but... Him. There's nothing more I can do now. Come on, don't be like that. Ah, that was a good one. All right, that reminds me. You said I was your best friend? <laughs> no, uh, I, I mean... Sundere. I was just trying to, well, you know, earn the chief's trust. I had to. Uh-huh. Your words really cut me to the core. They were comforting in a way, especially in these times. Could you not take back what you said? Oh, oh that's yeah, so sweet. Of course. Fuck, that's amazingly hey, sweet. You want to hug it out? Oh, I'm not drunk enough for that. One yeah, one day. Figured. <laughs> oh, I love them. They're so fucking. They're so cute. Oh my god. Uh, this game just brings out the most pure, unfiltered happiness in me. Fresh and clumsy as I remember, at least from what I saw. I owe both him and Date-san so much. Those two are truly irreplaceable. God. Dondoko Island, let's fucking go! Dude, I can't. That was so good. Oh my god. Why does Ghibli food look so good? Oh my... Wow, that was so good. So awesome. So epic. I, I freaking love Yakuza 5. Like, it was... I don't... Like, 5 is one of those games where I don't... Compared to the others, I don't really think about it as much. But it's still, like, probably one of my favorites in the series. 5 was a very weird place because it's kind of a... I played this series in a weird order, so I played 6 as my first game, then went back in time and played 0, I played 0 and then I took a break and then I played 1, I played Kiwami and Kiwami 2, and then I did 3, 4, and 5 on like a binge, and 5 was just, it was a weird experience because I went from 5 and then I played 7, and it was just a I don't I don't even know how to describe my feelings for five. It's it's a great game, mind you. It just I don't know even know how to process it. I'm just walking over here to get away from those dudes until they clear out. Oh hey, it's safe. Should I don't, open it? I don't even know what I'd say is my favorite. It opened. I mean, I think seven actually was my favorite game before this. I say before this because I'm pretty sure this one's already making its way to being one of my favorites. It's more so a matter of to how, to what extent. Military armor. Taken from blade attacks. I mean, I'll take that. And I guess I'll skip ahead for a sec. Alright, now we can head onwards to the plot. It's been a bit of a time coming. Oh, actually, make preparations? Hold up. Let me just save. You never know when things are going to go awry. Go up here, start from the top, just for the hell of it. Time to head to the Seryu clan warehouse. We're likely in for a fight. What choice do we have? That is a good question. Alright. The plot arrives. <laughs> they even brought a couple of babes for us. Alright. I can't wait to get my hands on this crew. Hope you're into BDSM because your balls are about to be crushed, no bro. Idea one of these babes is the queen of Komichu herself. Ah, ignorance will do you in like that. For real. Kirusan, I don't see Sawashiro anywhere. If anything, he's deep inside the warehouse. Here's what, the is the warehouse going to be like a dungeon? Push forward until we see him in person. Anyone who gets in our way gets taken out. Hey, what's with you people? You think you can waltz right in? Don't just fucking ignore me! You wanna get dumped in the bay? If you're gonna bring Frickin it... Frickin' pro ZD. He's everywhere in this game and it never gets... Time. Yapping! That's it, you're dead! All I hear is yap, yap, yap. Alright, everyone's drunk off their ass. Whoops. In for the kill. 
Hit him with all this. Get blinded, nerd. There we go. Right. Right. Don't really have as much for that. Uh, let's go with this. Easy. Mizu no koku. Ni no kata. Alright. Let's see what else I got here. Yeah, just do the same thing. Bombs away. Allow me. And this music goes kind of crazy. There we go. Here we go. Yeah. Right. Yeah, hit him with that shit. Kabam, kabam. I don't know why you fl flew that way of all things, but hey. Save my MP. Ooh, got him. Damn, 1.5 million for that? That's kind of crazy. Moving up in the world. A tad crazy. Nice tumble. Tell me something. Aren't you people here to turn your lives around? For real. Well, let me guess. You think you'll get a clean slate in Hawaii? And all you've got to do is follow orders. <sighs> That's how you see it. You'll never return to society, no matter how hard you try. But if you're serious about making a change, start by thinking for yourself. You tell him. I don't give lectures like him. <laughs> Only thing my enemies get is a lesson in pain. That's how it works in Comey Jewel. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Guess even Sun He cuts loose when she's mad. Would make sense. She definitely seems the type, at least. So that was a heal. I don't even know where she stomped, but that must have hurt regardless. I see the men out front gave you no trouble. Zilch. Yeah. They won't be getting up anytime soon. I take it they could use the rest. They probably should have just, you know, worry about them. used the extra numbers Party in a 9v5. Exactly but... at a premium these days. What with the dissolution leaving so many ripe for the picking? Isn't your job to fix that? Or is this second dissolution of yours just a way to exploit them? After everything you've done, this was your chance to light their path. Huh. I won't deny that. You know... One of them said something rather profound. Okay. Going clean was like prison all over again. You know, people like us have no freedom. Of course, he must have had eyes on him everywhere. You never know what an ex-Yakuza will do, right? And I'm not even at the saddest part. We have nearly a hundred people working here at all times, but they only need a single supervisor, if that. What makes that possible is the structure of our warehouse. Okay. Take a look at this observation tower. It's designed so you can't see in from outside. Because of that, you never know when you're being watched. Meaning, you can never slack off. They Eesh. call it a panopticon. Any idea why these were invented? To keep prisoners in line. And twisted, isn't it? These people wanted to escape the doggy dog world of a criminal. Yet what do they do? Crawl right into another form of prison. Tell me, Good why Lord. gather them under one roof and then ship them over to Hawaii? To rehabilitate them, of course. Is that the only thing Ebina said? If he hasn't let you in on anything else by now, don't get surprised when he casts you aside. You may want to mind your words. These four are some of the Seriu clan's strongest. Looks like a bunch of no-names to me. kindly to insults, especially when it comes to Ebina-san. I don't know, they seem to be taking insults they quite well, not saying a single kill. word. 
whether they've been given clearance or not. Pretty bold for Yakuza in this day and age. Then again, I've seen plenty like that in my time. They have all come and gone. <laughs> now, you want to know what real strength is? Now let my fist do the talking! Let's fucking go, my man. Kick that shit. Oh my god. No fucking way. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh shit, he yeeted it back? Okay, that's kind of wild, actually. Damn Sawashiro. What is this music? This is about to go foolish, isn't it? The trick came, huh? Don't see that every day. Probably not all he's got up his sleeve. Let's stay on our toes. For the kill. Are you done with all the fun and games? All right. Hit a few of them at least. Hmm. Time to pull you down. Hit Sawashiro himself. Not actually. Just his friend. Champagne splashdown. Alright, this'll work. Spam the button. The more we can take down, the better. Let's do the spin move. Whee! Aw, it missed. Got him. Too early. Everyone's game. Ow! You have to bitch slap me with that shit. Two in a row? Yo, leave Zhao alone. That's cool that he has, like, he kind of has style switching of his own in a sense. Yeet. Hmm. Funny sucker. I can't have cash. I haven't tried this before. Mm. Okay, that was... They weren't wrong on that part. That was indeed rapid fire. Holy shit, the music. Whoop. Uh, oh, that's for status ailments. It's my turn. Bonebreaker. Wouldn't be bad, but... There we go. Here we go. What if... I'm not back Screw it. Genre change. We're out of here. Well, that's an. I could have done better on that. That's for sure. All right, let's get some heals. Ready when you are. Collaborator. I've only used ten of those things. It's kind of wild. Katana. Oh man, has got a lot in his freaking pocket. All right, let's hit you with one of these. Mortal Kombat. Show all those nerves, baby. Out of here. Did a decent amount. Uh. Right, I forgot about this. I want to mess with this. Hope you're ready. Suction spiral. Do you have anything else I can use? What's the hold up? Not really looking like it, actually. Alright, screw it then. No I haven't seen this one yet. This is unreal. <laughs> See, this man sucked into this type of shit is so funny. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. A spotless maneuver. 
bro got thrown into the stratosphere. Oh shit. Zhao, what are you on? Oh damn, the freaking turn of the heel. Oh my gosh. Nope. Throw him. All right. Well, guess you're not all show. Yeah. Now then, let's wrap this up. You're pissing me off. Well, he charges. Well, he's back to basics. Back. Wonder what's next. I've got a bad feeling about this. Stay on your guard. Uh, how much was it per? Oh, we can afford a lot of this actually. What the hell? Hmm. Bum. 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 All right, let's do this. Oh, you're weak. Let's go. First time I've used this. Delivery. Coming up. That's the first time I've seen a summon animation for for him. Oh my god, the music! Bro, I would be fearing for my life if I was Sawashiro. Sojimaru! Full power mode! Activate! Full power mode engage. Doomsday drop. This is unreal. <laughs> Professor Okita killed once again. Remind me why I needed you to fly. <laughs> we take those. All right, we haven't used this yet. Oh shit, the dragon. If you wanna die. The music works so well. Kakatekoi! Dude. Nishiki! Oh my god, that's so sick. And in on the freaking the koi, that's so good. All right, now what do I do? How about getting stepped on? Maybe just stay down. This is getting old. Buddy, you're the one who needs to stay down. Take your own freaking stuff here. Brian Inferno. I mean, I gotta. We're doing it big. Enjoy. The walk. Dwayne the Walk Johnson. I'll take you on. All right. Iron Maiden, Iron Matriarch. Let's try this one. I don't think I've done it yet. Not the double. Let's do it. Back attack even on that. All right. Get him with it. Let's finish it together. We only need one shot. Bring it on. Adios. Hey, did enough. I made all the cash I used for summons and then some. Doing better than I thought. Learning more every day. Yes. There's more where this came from. Easy. Chump. We did it. We really did it. We beat Sawashiro. Way to go, Kiryu-san. You need to get me out of here. I can't speak freely around them. <sighs> gonna pull out a knife and stab us or someone? Grabs <sighs> it by the scruff. Let go! What do you think you're doing? Nanba. Hey. 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 Better if they don't know where I am. Quick, throw me in the water. Sure, what? that's a good idea. <laughs> Not much of a choice here. Meet up at Ichi's place after. Huh. 
<laughs> Holy shit, eat him. Huh? Wait, Kiryu-san, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do that for? We're done here. Next stop is Ebina. Oh, guys, just full of surprises, isn't he? Ah, tell me about it. You'll figure I'll it out in a bit. It. Hearing Sawashiro scream as he plummeted into the sea? Priceless. <laughs> I love Nanma. Sure didn't see that coming. I like how Sunny walked off and, and while the other three just sit there and look. Ah, uh, now it all ends up. So Sawashiro wanted to get tossed in the ocean. Still funny, though. Yeah. We made plans to meet up at Kasuga's place. Does this mean we're trusting him after all? Depends on how our conversation goes. Now, I imagine he'll want to keep a low profile. What is Maybe with the we'll shot? Get to see him in disguise. Oh, this is going to be good. Please be in like something utterly ridiculous. It'll be so funny. I'm good. <laughs> Meet Sawashiro at Kasuga's apartment. Might as well just fast travel. Don't really have much to lose. Just get us, I mean, maybe I could get a few more steps in, and I could get closer to, like, the, the frickin' marathon benchmark, but, eh. This shit better be funny as hell. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, Shiro, you should see yourself right now. What does he look like? I appreciate you sticking <laughs> to the point. I'm not man of time, you know. That is kind of funny. Right. But first, we need to know where you stand. In Ichiban's Who is apartment. Ebina to you? The visionary responsible for the second great dissolution. And a man after Masumi Arakawa's own heart. Okay. We thought the same at first. But in light of his recent behavior, I'm sure you've noticed something's up by now. Yeah. The second dissolution's just a smokescreen. A shiny ad to pull in fresh recruits. But I found that out too late. After sending Ichi to Hawaii. Hmm. Gee, isn't the timing convenient? It does Almost like it was way. part of the play. If it was a lie. I'd expect something a bit more convincing. He has a point. Look at that. Your slimy reputation precedes you. And it's in your favor. <laughs> Let's talk about Kasuga in Hawaii. He's there to lure out Akane-san, isn't he? And it was Ebina who proposed that. Likely to curry favor with Bryce. Sound right? Right on the money. Well, if that's the case, why are you still working with him? Big shock. You had to have known. What the hell Akane-san's going through? Dodging death at every turn? Isn't she the woman your boss loved? Yeah, but don't forget, Ichi's over there. As long as he's in Hawaii, Akane-san's in good hands. You're not wrong, Placing but... your bets on Kasuga kun are we? Sounds like you trust him. <sighs> Something like that. But with him on the job, I can focus on the real work I gotta do. Okay. Real work? <laughs> and that would be... Putting Ebina's fake plan into action. I'm gonna see the second great dissolution through. Huh? Oh. But if I have any hope of doing that, I need to know Ebina's true motive. Why did my eyes gravitate towards the waste Sunhei's management feet? Business he's running Sorry. With Polycana. It has something to do with nuclear She reactors. had nothing, no shoes on, and I was like, huh. And then I realized. Out. What? Nuclear waste? As in from power plants? Oh, hey. Definitely yeah. heard about that from Kiryu. On one end, there's spent fuel rods, which can still be repurposed and weaponized. Without strict protocols in place, they could easily fall into the wrong hands. Hmm. On the other end, there's dirt, water, concrete, equipment, and what have you that end up getting contaminated. Heard about that already? These are considered low-level radioactive waste. And while they're not as deadly, there's a lot of it. And with Japan dragging its heels in the decommissioning process, 
we're left with mountains of waste that'll remain toxic for centuries. The best they can do is silo it off in temporary storage facilities and hope a solution arises in the future. Yep, there we go. Oh yeah, I hear about that on the news every now and again. No matter where they try to build these facilities, neither the locals are always fight against Neither Ichi them. or Tomi are here, so no one knows. That's precisely what Ali Khan honed in on. For over 20 years, they've been stashing nuclear waste from around the globe on their private island. You know it as. Nelly Island, right? Mm-hmm. According to Palikana, that's paradise. A reward for only the chosen. Yeah. Real fitting, isn't it? Using sacred ground to hide away toxic waste. Bryce has a real sense of humor. Yeah. Also, the fee they charge for processing the waste what is the hell? cheap. And I'm sure Ebina gets a nice cut. Freaking but stuttering that, on the I still don't know on the display. All of this Yakuza factor in. My guess is they're needed for loading and transport. So that's it then. Ebina's yet another money hungry maniac. Now, I know I shouldn't say this, but hear me out for a second. If okay. If Alakana's willing to bear the brunt of Japan's nuclear waste problem, in spite of all the issues, isn't it a win for the country? From what I understand, each country's responsible for its own nuclear waste. How does Ebina plan on going around the law? Well, he won't have to if they loosen regulations. Politicians, mm -hmm. bureaucrats, and investors are all waiting to jumpstart the nuclear industry in Japan. And to keep the money flowing, they'd build even more reactors if they could. But naturally, they'd also welcome any waste disposal method that seems convenient. So if one day you hear the TV saying how the government wants to ship its waste offshore, that means they've already started trying to sway public opinion. Makes sense. And eventually, a change in legislation will follow. Wow, that's... Insane, right? For real. There's a chance Ebina and Palikana could legally be in the clear. Hmm. Would be anything but Only clear if all that nuclear waste, cult, good lord. I might have just took it and shrugged. Sorry if this sounds biased, but there has to be an ulterior motive somewhere. There absolutely is. In other words, you're sticking with Ebina to figure out that motive. Uh huh. Yes. You say that. But did you really need Frickin to blow Kishi in the background? Cover? You know, on the Tatara channel. I merely read the script I was given. Huh. All right. It's true that for Ebina, the second dissolution might just be a means to an end. However, if Masumi Arakawa were alive, this is something he would have wanted. And if whatever Ebina's planning would subvert that, I'll bring him down from the very foundation. I see. When that time comes, I would hope to have the dragon of Dojima's support. Dojima no Ryu. That's why I went through all this to speak with you. Speaking of speaking, I haven't been How doing much of it because I'm too focused on plot. Clan and the Omi Alliance oh, like this. People put their lives on the line to open up a path for the future. But all it took was four years to fail. Oh, curious son. Yeah. Guess your plans weren't so airtight. As a country, Japan's not exactly kind to those who make mistakes. Far from it, actually. Mm. So yeah. These ex Yakuza had nowhere to turn but Ebina. Getting back on their feet wasn't an option. No. Something's not right. It shouldn't have been like this. This wasn't the plan they told me about. And we all believed in. Sorry, who are they? Hmm? The leaders of the Great Dissolution. Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan, along with Goro Majima and Taiga Saijima. The Chads, all three. Are we actually getting talk of them? Oh shit! Wow. Daigo! Wow, those are loud waves. Dying breed! 
Oh, you can't leave me on that type of cliffhanger, bro. Devil in disguise? Oh, please don't tell me they're about to throw me into freaking Hawaii. I couldn't handle that, man. You can't just show Daigo and then just leave me on a damn cliffhanger like that. That's evil. Like, that is totally evil. Come on, please. Give us content, I beg you. Uh, yeah, Nele Island. You've made a wise decision, gentlemen. This is Nele. Oh no. Eat poison of the soul or the soil. Trust that Palakana's fires will purify. No, I don't think I will. Let it cleanse your sins and your refuse. Good lord, the freaking facial animation on this dude. You are all now members Skype call. of my Oh wait, no, family. it's Zoom. Zoom call, sorry. <laughs> In due time, the leaders of your country will unveil a new energy initiative. I only say Skype call because of freaking Finally, stuff I've seen in other games. Finally, your nuclear reactors will come to life again. Enriching us all. I don't think enriching Truly, is what I'd use for something like that. fortunate enough to be gathered here will be made prosperous. Will be made fat with wealth. We Dwight was moving death, so little that I thought he was a freaking just JPEG. Of of okay, PNG. He's more high quality than that. I've spoken to the minister. We're clear to begin reopening the power plants. Well, my humblest gratitude. If I may be so bold, you are a ray of silver light that has shone upon our burdened economy. That dude in the back, words, bottom right, just keeps savior. nodding. Let us not forget our silent partner, Ebinasan. We owe this day to you as well. You deserve far more glory than we can offer. Indeed. You've done a great deal for us, Ebinasan. Slow scroll down to him. You honor me, Chairman. Once my organization is restructured, I look forward to sharing the public eye with you. Till then, I graciously accept your guidance. Now, and in the future. Apologies, gentlemen. I fear our time is up. I'm overdue for a ritual with my flock. Farewell. Goodbye. Bye, Umphis. <laughs> the freaking Oh. What is it? We secured the girl. She's coming in on the next boat. And am I supposed to be impressed by this? What? Uh, had you settled this earlier, I wouldn't have relied on Ebina's help. Wah, wah, wah. If ever there comes a day when he uses this against us, it'll be your last, Dwight. Dwight. I swear. Rip, Dwight. <laughs> Bryce, you're stinky. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, that, that's fucked up. They gotta do all these signals and shit, though. You have all been chosen. Father Bryce has granted you the right of fire. Now, forsake yourself to the flames and save these lowly sinners. Jesus Christ. Keep going! Their impurities have not been fully purged. They are to be unspoiled. Nothing less. Jesus. You have made me very proud, my children of Palikana. They could not make Even this dude more hate world were to collapse more into easy to darkness, hate. I'm confident your flames would light the way. Frickin' drones. Not even people. Any sense of ind individuality has been robbed. Part of a hive mind. Alright, we're back here. I would have liked Daigo, but you know what? 
Ichi's still a peak awake. still, so. They're no good to her exhausted, you know. <laughs> Lani! I'm so sorry, akane son. It's all my fault. <sighs> Fucking hell. What a sorry sight. That's one way to put it. Hey. Ah! What the fuck? I don't particularly give a shit if you run out the clock bawling like a child, but remember one Beats thing. the shit out of him. Kazuma Kiryu is still out there, and you've let that man down too many times already. He saw something in you. Somehow. <laughs> now get up. Good lord. I really like this theme anytime it plays. You're right. It's time to go. Start moving then. You've wasted enough time. Yeah. Frickin' Yamai. And here we are. Talk with the pate. Wow. Giving, me, giving us a lot of stuff here. Adachi and... Huh. Just these two, eh? I guess it makes sense, but... Uh, I think I'll take care of Kiri san by the way. Thank our patriarch. I just did as I was told. Um, might be rude to ask, but how'd you end up here? My story's the same as all the others. We were in a bad situation and needed rescue. Hmm? Rescue? Different reasons for different folks, but... One way or another, we lost our place back home. Like many, I drifted for some time. Then I ended up here. He took us in without question. Gave us a new home. Is it true that Yamai killed a man back in Japan? It is. He was drifting too when he first arrived. But somehow he carved out his own land in Honolulu. Through sheer strength of will. Smack dab in the middle of a mafia stranglehold. The whispers around his story gave us something to believe in. And so the Yamai Syndicate was born. <sighs> huh. I would wondered why you guys didn't call yourself the Yamai family. Where'd Syndicate come from? Well, strictly speaking, we were never Yakuza. Yeah. What? Hang on, I thought... Tomizawa, was it? Tell me, did Yamai ever have you swear an oath? No, I... Guess not. <clears throat> the old god calls him Patriarch and keeps up the act. Understandable that new members might make assumptions. That's not to say we consider ourselves upstanding citizens, of course. We decide we know what we're, that w what we're involved in. We know we, we know we're part of an ugly legacy. Oh. Yeah. You might never like the Patriarch title. However, I think he's grown tired of fighting it. I'm starting to see why his people are so loyal. Thank you. Thanks for the chattel, man. Mm hmm. Men my age sees any opportunity to ramble on. Gotta say, it wasn't what I'm expecting that that one. Yamai chilling in the freaking corner. Wait, it said to talk to the party. Does that mean Yamai and the old man are part of the. Oh, wait. Old man wasn't a requirement to talk to. So, there's that, I guess. A lot of grief, let's see, hospitality, you might find it pretty charming. I don't want to go through all of this. Damn, okay, rude. Let's talk to the bestie first. Hey. One of them. I know we've been buried deep in ship before, Casca, but... This time feels like the deepest. No. Maybe. But there's no use wallowing in it. We have to go after Lonnie. We've got to move while she still might be alive. Yeah. But where do we even start looking? Hmm. We haven't got we haven't got clue fucking one right now right now. You make a good point. <sighs> when we found the Kane san and Lonnie, I thought we were finally good. And they took it all away from us. I can't stop thinking about Hanawa-san and Wan. Shit. This whole time we've been playing right into the bad guy's hands. <sighs> yeah. 
I still have not fully gone over that stuff. That shit was so messed up. All back to back too. Uh huh. I've got people tracking the barracudas in the in the ganja. If we're lucky, someone might cough up some info on the girl. Okay. Guess we're heading out already. Hey, Adachi san. Is Chichan around? Hmm? <laughs> she was here a while ago. Is he making another she, way to get away? I don't think. Could she have bailed on us? Seriously? Why would she do that now? This whole time, Age has been using her to play us like suckers. Maybe she figured, now that the truth's out, we'd take revenge. <laughs> We're getting totally... Chichan tried to warn us, didn't she? When Polycana was on their way, she came clean. She has to know she's still one of us. Well, think of it this way. If Chichan had given Eiji up just a few minutes earlier, Lonnie might still be here. And the I others might not have not died. Might still be alive. I, yeah. <sighs> Guilt is probably all consuming on that. I'm sorry, Kasuga, but Domi's got a point there. Are you too, Adachi san. She must have had a good reason. Chichan wouldn't cut and run. I'm sure she's still around here somewhere. She's gonna be chilling on another floor or something. Chichan? Damn it, there's no answer. Hmm. Chitose, her name was? Correct. I just got a report in. She took off on her own a while ago. Chichan? Matter of fact, she swiped one of our pistols on the way out. Oh, is she on her uh, way to do some moiter? skill. My men know how to keep them under lock and key. Yamai, when did Chichan leave? Do you know? We clocked the piece missing just now. Girl must have left half an hour ago at least. I mean, what would she want a gun for? Would she be going after Lani on her own? <sighs> no way in hell. That's Here I thought told me it was the gunslinger. She's going after them. Eiji and Palikana. She must know where they are. We can't let her. Chichan will get herself killed. Let's move. Now. Hey, on our way. wait. Hold on a minute. Chichan may know where she's going, but we don't. I like how he's even adopted Chichan. Even Tomi now says it. Instead of going for the whole Chitose. El Dorado. Listen, before we act rashly, we need a plan, right? Okay, then I see we talked to the tattoo lady again. Kiyo-san, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. I bet if anyone knows where Chichan's headed, it's her. Heh. <laughs> Yeah, it's not much of a plan, but it'll have to do. Let's go. No, she left the party again. Coming through. Freaking love Adachi. <laughs> what a freaking funny dude. All right. Well, for the moment, I think this is a great place to call it for the day. I'd say we made a lot of progress. I mean, we're in a new chapter yet again. Always fun to. I mean, Honolulu is just, like, a peak area to explore. Like, I like most Yakuza areas, but I feel like this is on another level as far as how fun it is to just waltz around. Hello! Hello. I'll wave to you for the hell of it. Even though I don't need you anymore. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm really wandering around for. I already know that I'm going to end the recording here. So, yeah. Next time on Yakuza 8... You will go and see the person that we need and try to figure out where Chitose is because it's not like there's many side quests for me to do right now. I still need to take care of this, which I am definitely high enough level to It'll deal with now. So, yeah. Next time on Yakuza 8, we'll be dealing with more plot, I guess. Just kind of steamrolling through it. Thank you very much for watching. And adios, ciao, and bye-bye. Signing off until next time. Ja, matane. Yeah,